Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. In this episode, I want to show you how to make tantuni at home. It's a popular street food in Turkey, especially known from the Mersin city area, which is on the Mediterranean coast of southern Turkey. Originally, it is made from beef, but ground beef is a practical way of making at home. I'm gonna also show you how to make lavash bread to wrap it. And with the fresh ingredients all together, I'm sure you're gonna love the taste. So let's get started. I'm gonna use my copper saç pan here. We call it a saç tava. You can use regular white pan. I drizzled some olive oil and going to cook 500 grams ground beef. In the original recipe, the finely chopped antricot or steak is used, but this is very practical and comes out delicious too. So while my uh, meat is browning, I'm going to uh, cut my veggies. I have a mix of green and uh, red peppers. As you can see, they are sweet. Uh, you can use whatever you have on the market. Don't worry if you can't find. I'm gonna dice everything finely, beginning from my medium-sized onion. And from time to time, I'm checking my meat, mixing well. And after it is uh, changed its color and has a clear juice, I'm adding the onions. First, I wanted to add to the side so it can meet with the heat better. Then after a time, I just mixed everything. I checked the word Tantuni, where it comes from. According to the story, a Yuruk, a nomadic man, boils the meat to preserve it longer and sets up his counter and puts a stall near a school. His purpose is to roast boiled meat in oil and sell it to the students. He also adds tomato, parsley, onion to the wrap and students ask to the man who made this food, which has no name yet, you hit the spoon every time and make a sound, tan tun, what are you selling? This reflection sound of the spoon, the sound of tan tun inspires the man and gives the answer as tan tuni. I don't know if it's true, but it's a nice logical story. So I continue to cut, dice my uh, vegetables. Finally. Let's check the meat again. My onions are uh, beginning to cook. And I'm just uh, this time going to make a well in the center and add my uh, peppers. And the nice thing is with the shape of my uh, such tava, the oil is collected in the center and it is easier to cook this way. First, I just uh, stir it in the center without uh, mixing everything too much. And then after a time, I'm gonna continue to make that tantum sound. I have one more vegetable to cut, which is tomato. Same again, I cut it in uh, small, tiny cubes after peeling it. I'm going to season my mixture with some salt. 
hot red pepper flakes and ground red pepper. And again same idea I made a well in the center and added my tomatoes after they are cooked truly I'm gonna mix everything well one more seasoning I just forgot to add which is ground cumin about a teaspoon gives a really a deeper taste smoky flavor and also to have enough sauce for my uh, wrap, I just drizzled some water. I'm just gonna simmer on low heat for five more minutes and it's done. Next, we're gonna make our lavash wrapping bread. Of course, you can buy it from store, but I want to show you how you can make it at home from scratch. So to my mixing bowl, I added one cup of lukewarm water along with about three tablespoon milk, teaspoon of each sugar and dry yeast, and less than three cups flour. After the flour, I add a one teaspoon salt. If the salt doesn't touch the yeast, it helps to rise better, so add it in the last minute. And just knead it until you have a nice smooth dough. Adding more flour if needed. Shape the dough into a bowl, drizzle some olive oil and place it again. And let it rise for about half an hour until it is uh, almost doubled. I get the rested dough on my countertop. It is very soft, which is good for making lavash bread. Now I'm gonna portion them to eight pieces. Since I'm gonna cook my lavash breads in this uh, griddle that I have, I can make my uh, portions bigger, but if you have smaller pan, you have to make it in smaller sizes. So maybe it is better to just roll one piece and then decide uh, how much bigger you want each piece. Since my dough is rested, it is easy to just roll out. And first I used rolling pin and then continue with oklava. The only way to improve your uh, oklava, the rolling uh, skill, is to just work with it. It is not really that much hard. Uh, you just sprinkle some flour as much as it needs, but not too much, and then roll it out, as you can see, to have a thin uh, bread. My griddle is already heated on a medium-high, and as soon as I uh, spread my dough it begins to cook you see the bubbles there and it takes about uh, two minutes on each side uh, you have to make sure that you don't over dry overcook your uh, lavash bread so check it frequently and meantime you can also work with the other uh, dough pieces And within a couple of minutes, my first lavash bread is done. Right now, it is still hard. You cannot wrap anything. But the trick is, uh, you just put it to another tray and brush it with some water and close it with another lid. So this way, it will have its hydration back and will get softened. So make sure not to skip this step, otherwise you cannot be able to 
uh, wrap your tantuni in. So I'm gonna continue to cook my uh, dough, my lavash bread, and stack them together. So I finished cooking my lavash breads and ready to assemble all the ingredients. I'm gonna uh, reheat my tantuni. And while it's heating, I'm gonna prepare my uh, fresh ingredients I'm gonna use to wrap. The first one is red onion, sliced very uh, thinly. And I'm just going to rub it with some uh, sumac and salt. Sumac helps to give a soury taste to the dish, but if you cannot find it, it's okay. Make sure it just sprinkle some salt and rub it to make it softer. And also I have some uh, sliced tomatoes, some lettuce, and again thinly sliced pickles. My daughter helped me to do that. I had Ottoman sherbet at that time, it was a perfect company and we are ready to go. I'm gonna show you in a moment how to assemble it, but unfortunately just when I was wrapping my uh, battery was finished, so uh, you're not gonna able to see the la last 5 seconds I can say, but we just take a shot sorry for that but you will get the idea and when you try you will understand how delicious it's gonna be so first I'm gonna get from my tantuni and again a layer of finely chopped lettuce some pickles and tomatoes just wrap everything and enjoy So give it a try this delicious well-known street food of Turkey and let me know how it turned out. Share your photos with me from my Instagram account Turkish Food and Travel. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish Food and Travel Vlogs. Afiyet olsun.